Hey you guys, Aaron, Dusty, and Max here, and welcome back to the Eat, Move, Rest kitchen. Yes. So today we're going to be sharing with you guys our top seven tools that have helped us to excel at this plant-based lifestyle long term. Stay tuned till the very end because we will be sharing our top two favorite tools each, as well as two bonus tools that will make your movie nights next level. into these vegan plant-powered beginner friendly videos give this video a like give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as always share this with friends and family and let's jump right into it so if you ask any chef in any kitchen they will probably say the most important thing is a good chef's knife and a good cutting board. Having a good chef's knife and a solid cutting board is crucial to having fun and being successful in the kitchen. Number two is a juicer. So we absolutely love our cold press slow juicer. We've actually got a discount code below if you guys are interested in the model that we like. We typically recommend juicing first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. It's best for absorption and digestion purposes. If you're looking to cleanse, heal, and detox, then a juicer might be right for you. If you guys are interested, I actually have a three-day juice feast ebook and if you've never done a fast or a feast before I highly highly recommend it we've also done videos where we go into more of the details of the benefits of juicing but in a nutshell we love it and if you're trying to cleanse it's a must in the kitchen number three is a high-speed blender so I would say this is our most utilized most prized possession in the kitchen we use it at least once a day, usually more like two or three times a day. First and foremost, if you are busy, you've got your hands full with kiddos or you're always on the go, a blender is amazing. If you're kind of new to blending and juicing and you're not sure what the differences are or the benefits are between the two, both have their time in place and blending keeps the fiber intact where juicing removes it. Again, sometimes that is a good thing if you're trying to heal and detox, maybe you don't want that fiber. With blending, you're gonna get more bang for your buck in the satiation department, in my opinion, because you are gonna have that fiber as well. If you're trying to lose weight, if you wanna make tasty meals where you can mask and disguise foods like kale, if you don't really love the taste of it, I can't say enough great things about having a high-speed blender. Now we are going to share a model that's a little bit more affordable below, but this is an investment for your life. It will last a lifetime if you get a high-speed blender. You'll be able to blend up nice creams instead of ice cream as a dairy-free dessert. We start every morning with our favorite green smoothie, which I can share with you below. We've got so many amazing blender recipes. We even make an amazing shells and cheese recipe, and we blend our cheese sauce in our blender. So you can actually blend at such a high speed that it will actually heat your food. So it's amazing, can't say enough great things. We'll link it below along with a discount code as well as some other options. Number four is probably one of my favorite things in the kitchen. This is our Dutch oven. It's got a ceramic coating, but it's cast iron. A lot of people think that they need to buy a huge set of pots and pans, which is fine. And if you have the money to do that, great. But again, if you're just looking to buy one thing, you can boil noodles, you can saute, you can put this inside the oven. This is so versatile and so crucial. What we use ours the most for is probably our one pot stews. You fill this baby with a stew, it lasts our little family like three, sometimes four days. And you just keep it in the pot, put it in the fridge, get it back out and reheat it. So we have Indian stews and chilies and like a ton of recipes right here on our channel that you guys can go check out. And they're all made with this thing. Again, the ceramic coating is non-toxic and the cast iron heats up faster than any other pot. Love this thing. Number five is a food processor. So I can say that I've been using it a lot more since Max began eating solids, simply because I've been making lots of balls, bites, bars, you name it, anything with dates or anything that you wanna pulse and get more of a chunky, meaty texture to, as opposed to the juicer, like we said, is just liquid. 
the blender is like a smooth consistency. Now the food processor is going to leave you with a little bit more texture. So we've made like taco meats with lentils and it's got that meaty chunky texture and chickpea patties, one of our favorites. Max really loves them. So it's a great way again to kind of mask foods like throwing in some spinach along with the chickpea patties and just really amping up that nutrition quality. One other thing that it's great for is meal prep. So if you're prepping salads throughout the week, you can throw in carrots, it can slice and dice and shred cabbage, all kinds of veggies, pop those in totes and Tupperwares in the fridge, and then you can just piece them together throughout the week. Number six is a pressure cooker. A lot of you have heard of the Instant Pot, and it is not just all hype, it is actually a lifesaver. Again, this is one that we've utilized a lot more since having Max because we've got our hands full. Sometimes we will pop some food in here and let it do its thing while we run upstairs and clean up, throw some sweet potatoes, regular potatoes in there, and a little bit of liquid in the bottom and they will cook up amazingly well. Pressure cookers have also been touted for their preservation of nutrients in food as opposed to even sauteing, steaming, or baking. So it's gonna preserve the most nutrients in your food. Some of the ways we absolutely love to use it are making like a soup or stew sometimes we'll even set it on the slow cooker setting we love to take dry beans which you have to soak all day and it can be quite the process to boil and cook on the stovetop it takes a couple hours at least so instead what we'll do is we'll put our soaked beans in here and it takes maybe 20-25 minutes and they taste so much better than canned and they're better for you we also cook rice in there and it comes out really creamy and fluffy. And I have a couple of amazing oat recipes as well. So again, very versatile. You can do anything and everything with it throughout your day to keep yourself full with maximum nutrition. So our last and maybe not most important, but definitely the most fun and tasty is our air fryer. This thing totally like rejuvenated my vegan diet lately because I hadn't had french fries, I hadn't had fried food or anything in so many years and all of a sudden I'm making like the most epic fried potatoes with no oil. I use it like probably almost every night, again for just plain old potatoes. It also makes epic tofu, basically anything that you like fried this thing does, it makes it better, it makes it way healthier. So if you're trying to lose weight, but you love these fried foods like we all do, the air fryer is gonna be a lifesaver for sure. Last but not least, we did promise you two bonuses. So again, these are great for date night or movie night. If you wanna stay in, especially right now. So we've got an air popper, which is similar to an air fryer in that you can make popcorn without oil in seconds, literally. We just made some last night. It's such a fun way to end the day. It's a healthy, low calorie snack that's high in fiber. Everybody loves popcorn, right? And one of our top secrets is if you wanna make an amazing blend, just grind up some Himalayan salt in a little bowl along with some nutritional yeast, grind it up to a really fine powder and dust it on top and it tastes amazing. So the air popper is great for the munchies and if you're hooked on soda or if you like carbonated beverages, we can't recommend the Soda Stream enough. A lot of people add sweeteners to their Soda Stream, but honestly, Dusty and I just drink plain old carbonated water. It's a little bit more exciting than just plain water, but if you want some flavor, simply add some lemon or lime or any type of muddled fruit of your choice. Soda, popcorn, all you need is a movie. What are your two favorites? Well, definitely the blender because I can probably live off of smoothies, but I'm gonna say also this cast iron um, Dutch oven, definitely a necessity for me. I would agree 100% with you that the blender is my go-to. I could equally live off of smoothies, and I really love the Dutch oven, but I'm gonna go with the Instant Pot, especially while you're gone, or if I'm at home alone with Mr. Max, I'm probably gonna be living off of meals in this thing so I can be hands off away from the stove top. Totally. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, you know the drill, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam and leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know which model, which tool you like the best and be sure to also join us on Patreon. So yeah. we will have it linked below in the description. We are doing all kinds of bonus content there. We've got live group coaching Q and A's, 
All of this stuff is just private for our patrons. We've got recipes of the month. Yeah, we might also do like live cooking classes where we cook a meal, you guys cook a meal with us. So definitely go check out our Patreon and join us there. Like usual, share this with anyone who might find it helpful. Follow us daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik at DB Stanzik. And until next time, eat, move, rest. Your best. Bye guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.